So we've clipped the ears inside and out, leaving a tassel on the end, okay? So we're going to come back with our about 15 blade, lift up the ear, and we're going to clip from the corner of the eye to the corner of the ear. Back, like a poodle's top knot, which is a similar shape. Then from there, we're going corner of eye to corner of mouth, flipping underneath, coming down to a V in the neck, again similar to a poodle. Lift that up, all the bottom jaw, and you can do this in reverse. Stay. Stretch that back. Get all underneath. Stay there, good girl. The whole under jaw stay. And then the same on the other side. Stretch that back. Everything from under the jaw. Corner of ear to corner of eye. Corner of eye to corner of mouth. Yeah. Right up to the mouth. Okay, when you do the neck, always down with the growth so that you don't get any irritation. Then we tip the front of the nose, just that part. And the first part of the top lip, just to stop all those hairs that curl into the mouth. Not coming too high up. Stop. Very difficult. And again, first part, stay. Okay, once you've done that, fluff up this head. Um, yeah, I mean, they can see outside. <laughs> when you look at them from the front, you shouldn't be able to see the eyes. So what some part of times people do is they tuck in the eyes, and that's the wrong look. They should have very much a lamb's head. So we're now going to scissor. And what you want is, round the back of the head, you want the longest part to be between the ears. So that should all be short. And then from there, we're coming up and round. And we don't want to take off too much coat. Nothing should hang below the jaw. Straight up the sides. When we look directly from the top, it should be straight and straight, so the way we've got too much on the side. Keep fluffing it, keep fluffing it up. 